is your day today. How was your day, everyone? It was a beautiful day today, and now I feel like making hot toddies. Who knows what a hot toddy is? Do you even know what that is? Let me tell you, friends, we got in this fabulous new product that is going to be your new best friend, especially on an evening like tonight. But before I get started, let's make sure everything is all linked up. Hello, hello to everyone. Friends, if you are out there, feel free to leave me a comment. I'd love to know that you're watching. Friends, if you're watching it on the replay, feel free, smash that like button for me and tell everyone what you're doing tonight. Make sure it gets onto your news feed and all the good things. Friends, if there's no red live button above my head, no worries. It simply means you're watching it on the replay. Feel free to, again, smash that like button, use the hashtag replay, and shop away. Friends, if you are brand new here, my name is Joy. I'm the owner of Sub Rosa Tea. We're a small company based in Northern Ohio. And we will ship anywhere in the United States. We have well over 100 flavors of loose leaf tea, blooming tea, and matcha, in addition to really, really fabulous treats, snacks, and giftables. We have got you covered this holiday season. All of the items that we carry on our Gourmet Snacks page have been made in small batches by small businesses across America. If you don't know who I am, I used to vend for a living, which means I would travel. I would pop up for a living and I got to meet some really really cool vendors and even though I can't see them this holiday season I still want to be able to support their businesses and help you with all the goodies and treasures that I know that you're just gonna love as much as I do so anyway first off first off if you have never before shopped this way be sure to type the word comp the word register in the comments with this video series, we are going to be able to put items that I'm showing you into your shopping cart, but only if you have a shopping cart. So you need to type the word register. After you do that, I will show you exactly how to put items in the cart. Go ahead and tap my nose. Can you see a full video in your screen? Above my head, it should say comment sold 107. 107 is always my lucky number. Okay, I'm going to give you a little secret there. 107 seems to be like the treasure of the night. So you know I'm always really, really happy when I get to 107. It should say comment sold 107 above my head. If it doesn't, make sure you tap my nose. Make sure that video is nice and big. You'll see that everyone else is watching in the comments too. Friends, we have a mobile app over in the Apple Store. It's not currently ready in the Android, so fingers crossed that'll happen really soon. But please do download that mobile app. It's free, it's absolutely free. You can watch all of the previous videos and shop really easily. You are gonna love that mobile app shopping experience. I see we've got friends here. Hey Karen and Dawn, thanks for coming back. I am trying so hard to get with all of my conductivity issues and I love that you haven't given up on me. Friends, it's time to spill the tea. Thank you so much for coming over onto our Facebook page. If you are watching on the mobile app, come on over to Facebook and spill the tea. We love it when you do. We love it when you spill the tea with your friends, family, and any groups that you are in. On a regular basis, I put absolutely everybody who spilled the tea into a basket and I pick a couple names and put cash in your cart. If you missed the first 10 seconds, you had to have a cart by commenting the word register. It's so simple. It's also something that you only need to do one time. After you type the word register in the comments, you will receive a one-time only Facebook registration notification. Go ahead and fill that out. And while you're gone, I am gonna make myself a cup of tea. Friends, again, today we are making hot toddies. I am using our stackable teapots, which we're gonna talk about a little bit later. And my kettle just came up to a rolling bubble. This is boiling hot water, and I'm gonna fill this teapot up. Friends, this teapot might look small, but I tell you, it's mighty. It does make 18 ounces. 
It holds two cups and it's gonna keep my tea nice and hot for two hours. You know I'm not gonna chat that long. You know me by now. I'm not gonna keep you that long, but I can't wait to dive in because tonight, friends, we're gonna do something really fabulous. Okay, we really are. First up, first up, let's talk about this hot buttered rum mix. Again, friends, if you're interested, all you need to do is comment sold 107 and the hot buttered rum mix will get into your shopping cart. This is a really fabulous product. Again, seriously made in small batches by a small company. This product, if you have never had it before, it has molasses, spices, and grass-fed butter. It is fabulous and it's going to really turn your weekend around. I took the lid off so you can see inside. This is my personal one. I love making hot toddies with it. So the tea itself is going to steep for a few minutes. But since we're talking about the hot buttered rum mix, friends, it does have rum in the name, but there is no alcohol in this jar. Most toddies though, friends, really are made with hot alcohol of some sort, like a brandy or a rum. Anybody else make a hot toddy using something else? That's our, our personal, I suppose maybe whiskey, whiskey, brandy, rum. I sometimes even do what I call a hot toddy with no alcohol in it. That's just, you know, whatever I feel like. And of course, what time of night it is. I am a super lightweight. If you've ever watched myself and my husband during, during some of our cocktails and mocktails recipes, it will, we'll make like three or four cocktails. I will have a sip of each of them during the video and by the end, I'm like done, really. I am such a lightweight. I am ridiculous. Cheap date, what can I say? He's a lucky guy. Anyway, hot buttered rum mix. Okay, this is going to go in. In just a few minutes, the tea's gonna be done steeping. And then we're gonna pour the hot water over. So in this case, I am going to use hot tea. Of course, we've got our fabulous spices. Sometimes my husband likes to do like a squish of lemon. Often he will do some honey, but that was the old days, friends. We now have hot buttered rum right here. You do not need to add honey when you're already adding molasses and the spices. You'll never go back, really. This is such a fabulous product worth every penny. Miss Karen says cranberry harvest with whiskey. Yes, girl. Yes, that sounds fabulous. I love cranberry, especially this time of year with whiskey. Yeah, I again, I'm not really a bartender. I don't really know what I'm doing, but you know what? The tea is done steeping, so we're gonna do that. You're gonna see here that I am going to just quickly take our hot tea, my hot tea, right out of the teapot, nice, nice and hot. I'm so, so happy. Oh, it smells so good. Friends, I am sipping on Nutcracker Sweets. That'll be the first tea that we talk about. But really, I'm just gonna pour this in. I'm so, I'm gonna leave half in my teapot. That's gonna be for me later. And I'm gonna call this one done. This is just tea and the hot buttered rum mix. I say it's done, but you can add anything you want to yours. Honestly, you know me, right? I love some heavy whipping cream up in my tea. I love a latte. Yes, 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 I do. That is just going to be perfect, perfect, perfect in just a few minutes when I'm done chatting with y'all. Okay, let's talk first. We've got the hot buttered rum mix. Let's talk about the teapot next. Friends, these are our stackable teapots. I know a lot of you are looking for gifts. You're looking for that perfect gift. Friends, I think I got it for you, okay? This is the stackable teapot. It's comment sold 101. It's above my head. We have it in 12 colors. If you are interested in putting it into your cart, you would have had to first type the word register to make sure you have an account with us, or if you're on the mobile app, you're already good to go. You can just swipe the colors. Here we have our green. This is much more of a lime green. We do also have an olive in stock. Nice thick ceramic. We'll keep those, those tea leaves nice and nice and hot. Stainless steel lid. Infuser basket with a nice handle. Friends, I gotta tell you, one of the nice things about this design on the teapot, the basket goes almost to the bottom. So if you only want eight ounces of tea, you can easily do that just by filling it halfway. But the teapot does make 18 ounces, which is like two to three, two to three cups. Depends, do you have a big old mug or are you doing like a china teacup? Because my china teacups really only hold like four to six ounces max. 
So it just kind of depends on what you're thinking. But again, this one's the green. And like I said, we also have it in 12 other colors. Oh yes, friends, if you're new here, this is called our stackable teapot because if you need more than one, they are stackable. I just think it's so stinking cute. You can leave it on your counter all year and this makes a wonderful gift. Who wants Santa to bring them one? Would you comment the word Santa for me if you're watching and you want Santa to bring you one? Trust me, you're gonna want one if you don't have one. This really is fabulous. Next up friends, let's talk about the tea that I steeped myself. The tea that I steeped myself, friends, is Nutcracker Sweets. This is sold 102. Nutcracker Sweets is caffeine free. It's got caramel, hazelnut, and chestnut. Nutcracker Sweets is sold 102. Now you're gonna see above my head that we have three sizes of tea. So if you're interested in the Nutcracker Sweets, you need to know how much each size makes. An eight ounce is gonna make you about 100 servings. The two ounce, 20 to 25, and the half ounce is five to six servings. The half ounce is five to six. You know what the half ounce size, friends, makes a great stocking stuffer. So if you're gonna do like a big gift basket, you might want a two ounce. Of course, if it's for you, you know how much you want, right? But if you're new here, welcome. You know, try the half ounce. It'll make you, like I said, five to six servings. That's a couple teapots. You can try it hot, you can try it cold, you can try it with the hot buttered rum, you can try mixing two flavors. It's loose leaf tea. And if I didn't tell you, friends, you're gonna buy it loose like this, okay? So it's not in a tea bag, it is all loose leaf tea. All of our tea leaves are organically grown and we do use only all natural ingredients. Friends, I'm gonna backtrack just a second because tonight's big topic is the hot buttered rum mix. Again, that was sold 107, you're not gonna wanna miss out on that. But one of my favorite things to do with the hot buttered rum mix is add it to the elderberry syrup kit. So this is tea. It is sold 108. Elderberry syrup kit is sold 108. This is a full two ounces of elderberries and also cinnamon stick, orange peel, cloves, and allspice. All of that is in here. So we only sell it this year in one size. This is the perfect size to make a really big batch if you're going to make yourself elderberry syrup. You could totally make a big batch of elderberry syrup and add this entire eight ounce jar to your syrup. Do you understand? Because then you've got a vat of it and then you would just take like a teaspoon of syrup every day. You know how elderberries, they're so good for your immune system. It might be easier depending on your lifestyle. Me, I don't mind. I don't mind doing a pinch at a time and steeping it with the tea, but you, uh, my recipe is on our website for the elderberry syrup kit. How to make a big batch of syrup is on the website. And the hot buttered rum is a perfect addition to that. In addition, friends, to the elderberry syrup kit, in this bag you're gonna receive two cheesecloth bags. Okay, the cheesecloth, if you're gonna make yourself the syrup, instead of like one cup of tea at a time, you're gonna divide this in half, put half in one cheesecloth, the other half in another cheesecloth, and then put it in a big stock pot. Again, recipe is online. Don't wanna to waste too much of your time in this video on that, but again, this year, right? Who's not thinking about their immune system? You know what I'm saying? And all I know is tea tastes good. So, I mean, it's the easiest thing, right? Easiest thing to add to your day. Friends, if you're here, would you do me a solid favor if you're watching on Facebook? Would you smash that like button and leave me a comment? I'd love to know what you're sipping on tonight. Friends, we're gonna move right along and stick with our loose leaf tea. The next tea is butterscotch. Butterscotch is sold 109. Butterscotch is sold 109. Friends, this is a black tea, so it does have caffeine. It is a limited edition holiday flavor. And friends, it is naturally quite sweet because of course the flavor is butterscotch. Again, we're an all natural company. You're not gonna find any weird chemical stuff in here, but it is definitely one of my favorites to bump it up just a little bit with the hot buttered rum mix. Again, butterscotch is sold 109. 
Next up, I'm going to think outside the box just a little bit. Friends, if you know me, you know I'm a huge tea drinker. That's just the way I've always been. But why, right? Why didn't, why did this crazy girl never get really into coffee? I gotta tell you, most coffees, they upset my stomach. It's the acid. Coffee has acid. Tea does not. But you know what tea has? It has antioxidants. Yay! Win, win, right? But I do love coffee. Can't lie. I created this one because I love the taste of coffee. Again, friends, this tea is a black tea. It does have caffeine and it does taste like coffee. It's got coffee beans and cocoa beans in it. So it does have just a pinch of chocolate in it. And you know, one of, again, a perfect thing to add to hot coffee is hot buttered rum mix with the molasses and the spices. Totally yum. This one I did call cafe latte because it is nice and thick, like a rich creamy cup of coffee, which is pretty awesome for tea, right? Cafe latte sold 110. Next up, friends, we are going in order of caffeine content tonight. This is Fireside Chai. Fireside Chai is also a black tea. This is sold 111. Fireside Chai is sold 111. This is a very typical chai tea. So with Sub Rosa tea, all of our black teas have a red label. So if you're looking in your pantry, you can quickly kind of grab. But they also have a caffeine meter So if you're thinking about gifts, stocking stuffers, maybe gifts for like college students, and they would want to know what time of day to drink it, we do have a caffeine meter right on our labels. Friends, this is a black tea, again, very traditional chai spice, like if you had gone to a coffee shop and gotten a chai latte. This is the same kind of spice, but again, this is loose leaf tea. If you make it yourself, friends, it costs you like a quarter, like 25 cents, maybe 40 cents if you add some heavy whipping cream to make it a latte. Fireside chai, a good one. Now again, as I said, today's video, I'm gonna go in order of content of caffeine. So I started with a Nutcracker Sweets, which is caffeine free because I'm recording this video at night. I'm gonna be drinking this right after the video is done. But the first series of teas that I'm talking about are all black teas. So they have caffeine, approximately 60 milligrams of caffeine per cup. This one is the last black tea I'm gonna talk about today and it's Toasted Almond Cookie. Toasted Almond Cookie is sold 113. Toasted Almond Cookie. Friends, this does have some sweet cinnamon notes to it like a fresh baked cookie. But you know what? Loose leaf tea, no calories. None of that hard work of baking cookies, all the great taste. No calories, no carbs, no sugar. Got to love it. I just refreshed to make sure I didn't see any questions from anyone. You know, we've got people watching on our Facebook page, on our Facebook group, and also on the mobile app. So I should be able to see everyone's. If I do not, don't worry. As soon as I'm done recording the video, I will come back and review to make sure I didn't miss anyone, okay? If you've got a question, don't hesitate. Leave it in the comments. If you would prefer, you're also welcome to email me. Next up, we're gonna to switch to green teas. Green teas are lower in caffeine than black teas are. Green caramel is up first. Green caramel. Again, this is a green tea, which makes it low in caffeine, but high in antioxidants. Green teas have approximately 20 milligrams of caffeine per cup, nice and low. This tea is fabulous. It has great depth of flavor. We're an all natural company, so we do use real balls of caramel. This tea actually has toasted rice in it as well. Again, it just gives it great depth of flavor. Totally one of my favorites with the hot buttered rum mix. Again, green caramel sold 116. Next up friends, our maple walnut tea. Maple Walnut is sold 117. Maple Walnut is sold 117. This is a green tea. It has walnuts and almonds, 
pineapple and maple brittle. I absolutely love it. I crave this tea. It is very, very good as a cold tea. If you want your green tea as a hot tea, we recommend steaming water and not boiling. Friends, our brewing instructions are right on the package. I tell you how hot to get your water, how long to let it steep. I also bring it up because it's very giftable. Hey there, Miss Amy. Let's see, 108. 108, yeah, good. Thank you, Miss Amy, I appreciate that. You're gonna, you're gonna love it if you haven't had our elderberry syrup kit. It's a good one. Again, friends, maple walnut is 117. We've got another green tea in the lineup today, friends. This is our spiced pear. Spiced pear, of course, is a green tea. This has got pear, cinnamon, and vanilla. I happen to love cooking. I love desserts. I love a poached pear, nice and simmering with a cinnamon stick on the stove. I love the way it smells. I love it. But oh, the time it takes. Holy cow, friends, this tea is spot on fabulous. Also very good with hot buttered rum mix. This one's another good one that's really good hot or cold. We're thinking hot toddies today though, so I gotta tell you, Spiced pear, right? Oh, spiced pear martini. That's not really a toddy, but I gotta tell you, right? A pear teeny? Doesn't that sound good? Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow I'll have one of those. Okay, friends, we're moving along to the caffeine free tea. The tea I'm gonna talk about next are caffeine free. This is the apple cinnamon rooibos, and it's 119. Apple cinnamon rooibos is sold 119. It does have apple and cinnamon, but that's it. I get a little crazy sometimes with the recipes and it's got tons of ingredients and tons of things happening because that's what I like most often. Sometimes I do want something simple. This is spot on fabulous. If you don't know, rooibos is known as the red tea. It's known to be good for headaches, inflammation, and insomnia. And again, that's the word rooibos. Rooibos are known to be good for headaches, inflammation and insomnia. This one is sold 119. The next couple of teas in a row are all also rooibos based, known as the red tea. This one is banana nut. This is banana nut, it is caffeine free, and it's sold 120. Banana nut is sold 120. This is 100% like that fat fresh baked bread that has walnuts in it. This is definitely one of my favorites. This particular tea does have chestnut. It just bounces off the banana a little bit better. But of course, we're talking about it today because it is so good with hot buttered rum. I think you probably would have to agree that that molasses in the background with butter, I mean, who wouldn't slab, you know, a big old slab of butter on some hot Banana nut bread, oh my God, absolutely yes. Friends, this tea, banana nut, is in limited edition. It is 120, and it is in limited edition. So we have lots of tea in our permanent lineup, and then I bring in a few that I would say are literally in limited edition. They are literally things I'm craving, I'm thinking about, I maybe had a cocktail that inspired me or a dessert that inspired me. I'm a girl who's always watching her calories. I don't mind admitting that. Sometimes I really shouldn't be indulging in fresh baked banana bread, but I, you know I want that taste. So I don't know if you want it. So I just blend up a few pounds. I introduce it to the group and it sells. And when it's gone, it's kind of gone. I'm trying to pay attention to what you guys want and I'll bring it back if I can. You know, as I'm playing with ingredients and what I can source and what I can get, you know, stuff like that. The usual, right? <laughs> the usual baker's dream. Next up, friends, is carrot cake. Carrot cake is sold 121. Dawn says the banana nut is really good. Thanks, Dawn. I appreciate that. It's always nice to hear. Thank you. The carrot cake is sold 121. And again, this is a rooibos tea known to be good for headaches, inflammation, and insomnia. This one is one in our permanent light up. You can kind of tell by the label. 
it is in our permanent lineup. It was one of the original um, eight flavors. I think I started with 12. 12 flavors, my first farmer's market, way back in 2012. I had one size and 12 flavors. What was I thinking? I really have no idea. But anyway, carrot cake is great because it's both a spice tea and a sweet tea. So it's got your cinnamon and ginger like you would suspect, almost like a chai but it also has sweet notes with the maple in it. Perfect for this guy here. Absolutely perfect hot toddy. Absolutely perfect. Great depth of flavor with the carrot cake. Next up friends, we've got another limited edition. We are still caffeine free. This is Ginger Snap. Ginger Snap is sold 122. Ginger Snap is sold 122. Again, um, a caffeine free arroibus. I think most people know what ginger snap is. Heaven as a toddy, nice and hot. I could totally see a ginger snap like taste with brandy or rum. I have not personally had it, but I think it would be spot on heaven, right? If you were going to make a toddy, what do you want? Would If you were going to make a toddy, what are you thinking about? Are you thinking about a spice in the background like cinnamon are you thinking sweet like like my husband makes his with honey are you thinking more I don't know I don't know I'm curious if you've had it like like what Karen said with the cranberry for me that's fairly seasonal but I remember I there was um at a farmers market I did downtown in a big city I had a customer who would always seek me out every fall to buy the pomegranate apple. That was her jam. She was just accustomed to an apple hot toddy. I'd never had one before until then. It was perfect. I'm so glad she introduced me. Next up, friends, Sweet Pumpkin Spice is sold $123. Sweet Pumpkin Spice is sold $123. This tea, of course, is a rooibos and caffeine free. We sell this all year. I know for some of you, it's just like October only or it's seasonal for you. Not here, friends. Don't worry, I got you. People crave this tea. It is great. We sell it in February. We sell it in July. There's just never a time that we don't sell sweet pumpkin spice. So far, anyway, right? It's a good one. This is also, yes, a hot toddy, but it's also one of my favorites as a latte with steamed milk. Totally nice and rich and creamy. It really tastes like a piece of fresh baked pumpkin pie with whipped cream on top. That's my jam. That is my jam. And this is the tea that is so good. Now, some of you, you're working outside, you're working late, um, or you're talking a lot. Your throats are getting sore. It's dry now. Where I live anyway, there's no humidity. It's ridiculous, right? So I want you to know about Throat Treat because this has got it all. Okay, Throat Treat is sold 124. Throat Treat is sold 124. So this has got Slippery Elm. It's the only tea that I would really say like covers your throat. Do you understand? It's like really viscous in a way. Um, like honey is just like nice and thick. So it does have licorice root in it. Licorice root is known to be, it's like sugar, okay? It's like a sweetener, but it, it doesn't affect your insulin levels. It's safe for diabetics. But again, it balances the slippery elm really nicely. It does have raspberry and orange. I'd have to, ha you know, add citrus if I was thinking about a sore throat. It does have cinnamon, which in my opinion just balances out everything else really nicely. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's a real spice tea. It's got an interesting taste. I'm not going to tell you it doesn't. But this is the one that most of my customers keep in their pantry. You know, for those times where they're just getting the uh, sore throat. This is also really good for like mucus buildup if it's just that time of year for you and you're always got the runny nose. Go with the throat treat. Great as a toddy, really. You're coming in from the cold. You're going to add a little nip of brandy, a little hot buttered rum. Absolutely perfect as a toddy. Bump up all those great flavors a little bit more. 
Now, I know I just talked about spice, but I want you to know about this tea too because this tea has got it all, friends. Triple root. Triple root is sold 125. Triple root is sold 125. This has got ginger, turmeric, and sarsaparilla. Those are three roots actually that are really great for joint mobility, specifically the inflammation you get in your joints. A lot of people are going out, they're getting the turmeric at the grocery store in the spice aisle, they're adding it to everything, their salad dressings, and you know, they're just trying to consume it more, but it's spicy and it's hard to just enjoy on a salad. It's really good with a tea. I have to tell you, these three roots together are fabulous, but it is very spicy, especially if you steep it hot. If you steep it hot, it's like punch you in the face with the ginger, okay? It's spicy. Now, if you would like something less spicy, go ahead and cold steep it. You'll still get a lot of the great health benefits. Cold steep the tea. Also, it's caffeine free, so you can have as much as you want. Heaven as a toddy because this is nice and sweet and it really balances the hot buttered rum mix, balances all the spiciness, so it's absolutely perfect with a brandy, a rum, a whiskey as a hot toddy. So for me, I totally think of spice. So does my husband. He loves everything spicy, jalapenos and horseradish. You know, there's all, all different types of spice. Ginger is really specific and this one's really strong. Okay, so triple root is 125. Oh yeah, friends, this really is the end of my presentation. I am going to put one last thing up because again, I know a lot of you are thinking about the holidays. You're thinking about gifts. We are a small company and we would absolutely love, love, love your business. We did work with a Etsy seller, an Etsy designer. She created these mugs just for us. Santa is here with a Christmas tree and it does say Sub Rosa Tea. And then on this end, folks, it does have Santa who is sipping a cup of tea and it says he sees you when you're steeping. That is the last item on tonight's uh, sale here. The last item, it is sold $128. If you are looking for that perfect gift, friends, I'm going to hang out just another couple seconds if anyone has any other questions. Hey there, Jessica. How are you, sweetheart? I haven't seen you in a while. How you doing? Thanks for coming to the video. I'm just going to refresh really fast, see if anyone else has any questions. Again, friends, if you're watching on the replay, I won't be here live with you to interact, but you're still welcome to leave me a comment. I don't mind. I'm going to let this video play for the next couple of days. So let's see. Around Tuesday, I will pick a couple of winners. So if you're watching at the end, make sure you still go ahead and Spill the tea with everyone you know, you'll still be eligible to win because yeah, it's holiday, right? Holiday season. Who doesn't want cash in their cart? So thank you, thank you, thank you friends for coming to tonight's video. And for those of you who have seen a couple of them, would you do me a solid favor? Either send me a message or leave me a comment. How was the conductivity tonight? I tweaked a few things on this end and I think I made it right for you, but I'm never going to know because some of you are so kind and you, you have such big hearts that you're not even telling me when my videos are terrible. <laughs> Alrighty, so I am going to, oh, let's see, the answer is yes, I should be able Amy just said, Amy, the hot buttered rum is sold 107. Okay, hot buttered rum is sold 107. Just so you know, if you can hear me, if the video is still playing, hot buttered rum is sold 107. It is a nine ounce jar. It is molasses and spices and grass fed butter. That was the topic of the video that all of the tea I showed today are really, really great as a hot toddy with your hot buttered rum mix. The recipe here on the jar that they recommend is one and a half ounces of blended aged rum, three teaspoons of the buttered rum mix, and six ounces of hot water. That's how they did it. So this is exactly what I'm doing is that I made my pot of tea. 
So I have hot tea, of course, instead of hot water. I have the rum mix, of course. And then currently I'm not drinking any alcohol. I think it's perfect the way it is, but the, you know, the zhuzh of the video is definitely hot toddies. So we talked about a couple different recipes and a couple different ideas. So thank you. Oh, Karen says it worked out great. Thank you, sweet lady. <sighs> it would be nice if things were just smooth and fabulous, right? Right. Thank you, friends. Have a fabulous rest of your day, no matter what you do with the rest of your day. Have yourself a cup of tea and take care of you. Bye-bye, friends.